ahead and take a look at how the new spell checker function works. When you're in a course and I click description, you'll now notice when you have the spell checker function installed, a spell check button. I can go ahead and click the spell check button and it'll bring up the spell check dialog box. Now one of the little idiosyncrasies with the spell checker box is when it brings up a word, you need to click in this dialog, click, and then you can use the buttons to either ignore, replace, or quick add to the dictionary. So we use the term Reggie's all the time, so I'm going to add that word to our dictionary. And then it's going to ask if I want to add that word, yes. As it moves on to the next word, one of the idiosyncrasies of the spell checker is I need to click back in the spell checker text, click, and then I can choose ignore or to replace this with the word that it suggests. In this case, I'm going to ignore. Once the spell check is complete, I can click OK, and it brings me back into my description uh, to let me continue adding or to move on to my next task. Now once again, when I'm in the spell check, to actually use the spell check, I need to click into the body, body of the text here. If I just try to click the buttons, you're going to get an error. That's because we're not quite into the spell check software yet. We need to click into the body of the text and then click the button that we need to use. Another thing to keep in mind is the spell check works on the primary description only. If you're going to have a web description and want to spell check it, it needs to go into the primary description first and then drop it in the secondary description. The spell checker is pretty powerful and includes lots of words, about 140,000 words. Let's take a look at what you need to do to add the spell checker to a student manager. The first step is to make sure you are on version 7.2a.013 or higher of student manager. If you're not sure what version you're on, ask your tech for some help. They can also help update your student manager. The next step is to download the dictionary table from the tools section of the student manager resource page. This is located on the ACEWARE website. Install these files in the student manager directory. If you don't have a username and password for the website, contact your tech. Remember, if you have any problems, you can always talk to your technician and get help.